Good Thursday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, coming to you again live with a very quiet forecast for now. We're live on Periscope, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube, and we'll be posting this on all the other social media web pages as well coming up here in just a little bit. Very pleasant day out there, a little bit on the breezy side. The winds at this time west at 14 miles per hour, a little bit before we go on with News Channel 3's. Three, first at four, and a few clouds drifting on through, but otherwise sunshiny skies. For tonight, the forecast here back in the lower to mid 40s. Winds out of the northwest, a little bit less breezy, but still pretty breezy for a while out there. And tomorrow, the temperatures remain a little bit on the cool side back in about the mid 60s or so, with winds out of the northwest at about 10 miles an hour. Check us out at wreg.com slash weather, the website right there floating above my head. Forecast for the rest of the evening, again, showing a few clouds out across portions of the mid-south, but not really seeing much of anything in the way of major amounts of problems so far, so good news on that. Winds will continue to be a little bit on the breezy side. The red bar on your forecast there showing the wind speeds. Northwest at about 10 to 25 miles per hour at times, so it could be a little choppy out there as you go throughout the rest of the evening, but looks like relatively clear skies for later on tonight and not seeing too much of any other problems as we get into around the area for this evening where it comes to rainfall. So stargazing for tonight, that looks okay, but numbers will be falling off pretty quickly, heading from the mid-60s by about rush hour all the way back on down into the mid-upper 50s by the time we work our way closer to News Channel 3 to 10. I'm in on the afternoon shift tonight. Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers have some outstanding appointments out there, taking care of some station appearances, stuff like that, but Jim will be back on News Channel 3 at 10 later on for this evening. Rest of the evening, the computer is throwing in a few areas of speckles of green, just interpreting the higher amounts of cloud cover out there as a little bit more moisture. We're not expecting anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms across the Mid-South, or for that matter, even sprinkles out there, so definitely good news on that if you are going to be doing any traveling out there for later on this evening. But we will be seeing some fairly cool numbers. Let me see if I can get that moved up a little bit so we can get everybody in the picture. And numbers again for tonight. Very much on the pleasant side, not seeing any problems at all. Cooling off pretty rapidly. Temperatures will be in the lower 50s by the time we work our way through about News Channel 3 at 10, and then getting into around the mid-40s in some locations across parts of the Mid-South. We'll be seeing again the possibility of some fairly cool numbers out there by the time the kids hit the bus stop early tomorrow morning, so please keep that in mind if you're going to be, again, uh, getting the kids out there for later on. Excuse the wibble wobble on Periscope and Twitter, trying to get all the right, all the graphic into the picture and showing again it's not showing everything out there uh, again for tomorrow we'll be looking at cool start for the day and temperatures into the rest of the forecast for tomorrow afternoon through about lunchtime going back again into about the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s and winds again tomorrow will be a little bit on the breezy side noticing again about winds northwest at about 10 miles an hour picking up the kids from school rush hour home temperatures back in the lower to mid 60s across much of the mid-south area and then getting into tomorrow night temperatures will be dropping once again into the upper 40s to lower 50s by the time we wrap up the week and get ready to head into the weekend so good news on that. Temperatures tomorrow Sorry about that. It looks like we got some not pausing exactly where it should be. Numbers again into around the mid to upper 60s tomorrow, lower 70s for Saturday. Dry conditions through the rest of the weekend and not seeing any other problems coming our way uh, anytime soon and for the weekend itself. Now by next Tuesday, we're seeing that possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms coming on through the area. That's where, again, we may see the possibility of some thunderstorms maybe on the severe side at this point in time, but again, doesn't look like anything really huge happening just yet, but we will be again watching for that potential, so definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Now as we go toward the end of next weekend, you've got limited amounts of time to get your taxes in if you haven't done so already. We'll be taking a special look at the tax day forecast as we go into the weekend on News Channel 3, so definitely want to stay tuned for more on that, and we'll keep you advised there. Rest of the forecast, again, you can tune in tomorrow morning, Monday through Friday, at 7 to 9 a.m. for Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live. My News Channel 3 forecast will be on there, and you can find out more about what's going on in the Mid-South area with sports, all kinds of great guests available on Talk Back Live. That's Monday through Friday on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. And, of course, don't forget about News Channel 3's own Todd Demers. He'll be on tomorrow morning, Friday morning, bright and early with News Channel 3 Daybreak, and you can pick up all my social media websites as well, available on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, 
Periscope, Instagram, and as soon as I figure out how to get it on Game Boy, I will definitely let you know about that. Again, mainly cool, pretty dry into and through the weekend. No major problems being seen across much of the area until we get to about next Monday and Tuesday. That is something we'll be watching, so you keep it tuned right here. And, of course, on Periscope and Twitter, thanks to everybody for tuning in for more information as to what's going on. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your exclusive video weather blog for Thursday afternoon and evening. Weather overtime will be on in just a few minutes on News Channel 3, first at 4 and throughout the rest of the evening at 4, 35, and 6. And, of course, Jim Jaggers will be back later on tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks for joining us for this quick weather update, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the evening for all your news, weather, and sports needs.